but I'm also a rider of this board as well. I'm here with um, Sebastian Wenzel, the shaper, and the uh, five times freestyle world champion, Goito Estrado, who's won his world titles on this shape. Okay, so, um, so Goita, how are you feeling on this board at the moment? Uh, I feel really good in the board, it's very easy to ride. And Is that a new fin you got there? Yeah, I got a new custom fin for this year. It's very easy and full control in the water. I imagine, you know, on the freestyle competitions you lose a lot of height when you do all the moves, you go downwind. So this must help you really go upwind, yeah? Yeah, and, and this is very good to go in the in the low tide water and you can never crash. <laughs> nice, cool. This is Colito's personal fin. We're going to show you uh, as well what we actually sell the board with. I like this, pretty light too actually. While we're talking about fins, can stick with it. We have a very nice fin with the board. Carbine Negra, nice and light. Pretty cool, fancy shape. Also last year we introduced the slot box system on the uh, skates. The reason for that being is that we get constantly asked from our riders to have the strap really close to the fin. And if you use the power box here, it doesn't really work because you can't put the strap as close over the fin. So we said, okay, the slot box is the best option. We've been thinking about US box or how we can resolve the problem. So since last year, we've been using the slot box on this. Very helpful in combination with the double holds, yeah? Because yeah. the guys put a lot of pressure on their moves. And as you can see, they use kind of a funny setting here. They put the foot straps really tight. Uh, Golito, why do you use them like that? Yeah, I really use very tight because you never lose the foot when you make some higher move. And you're not scared that your foot gets caught in there? No, it's never, my, my foot never stay in. I always go out when I crash hard. But never, never happens. Cool. One thing I don't know if the camera can catch this is we also have a little bit of a softer bumper under here. I guess that's pretty comfortable when you land the moves. When you do some higher move and you land them really easy, you kind of fear you, that you land so strong in the board and your foot is, is really Because good. what you guys been doing over the last years, the moves got higher and yeah. higher. I saw some pictures now here from the photo shoot. You guys were all the way up there. And that's also one reason why we put some more reinforcements into the technology. Um, as the moves get more radical and more radical, the guys are jumping higher and higher. Um, we need to put more reinforcements into the, the technology to make sure that the boards last well. Um, one more thing about the foot straps up front here, Max. To me, as a wave sailor, this looks kind of weird. What are you guys doing here? Well, what we're doing is we're moving the front hole back to the furthest setting. So like okay. Goito said, it grips the side of your foot and you've still got the height in the strap so your foot can still twist inside it mm -hmm. and come out easily so you're not going to hurt your foot and also for switch stance maneuvers it makes it a little bit more comfortable because you're actually facing forwards a little bit more than you are completely sideways so that kind of is helping us in that respect as well okay so you got to do a bit of rethinking when you put uh, your strap settings you can obviously use the normal setting as a 45 degree angle but you guys actually use a bit of a more yeah. like 70 or whatever it is. Exactly, and I'd recommend this a lot to people even just starting out on freestyle across all of our boards. Like instead of just having it on the furthest away hole, maybe not go to one extreme straight away, but slowly work your way down so you can feel the, it feels like the board's more connected to your feet. You don't have that loose sensation. So you've still got big straps and your foot can come out easily, but yeah, you're gonna feel a lot more attached. Pretty insane graphics this year, I think. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the shape as well. Golito, when we're discussing, do we need new shapes? Do we need to change something? At the end of the discussion, we said, well, we don't really need it. Why do you feel so happy with the shape? Yeah, I feel so happy because it's uh, similar on um, my custom board before, like I told you before, to make a lot of rear in the board to go more fast and more You're easy talking straight. about like a pretty full and sharp rail here in the tail to give you a lot of speed. Yeah. Is that the main thing for you guys to get very quickly to speed. Yeah, it's very important to go very fast for the move and you can go more higher and make some radical move. That sounds pretty interesting, Golito. Tell me one thing, we offer four shapes, four sizes. What's your personal favorite size? In the, in the 19 tree I really love. It's perfect board for, I use it in every condition and it's working really good. So that's your favorite overall size? Yeah. How many boards you take when you go to a competition? 
I take more, uh, like 293 and 101 and that's it what I that's what I need for every event and it's always working really good. So in combination with that very fast performing rocker line we have a flat V up the nose you can see here increasingly a bit to the center it's not an extreme V because also extreme V would sort of prevent the sliding moves that the guy do that the guys do so it's important uh, just a little bit of V keeps the board nice and slidey and runs all the way through the tail section softer rails up the nose outlines also have quite gone quite a bit shorter over the years very compact shapes I'm loving the shapes as they are at the moment and like Sebastian said it's freestyle has changed quite a lot over the last few years and what's happened is we're doing more moves in the air so that then we felt the need to make the boards shorter so that we can just finish that whole rotation without catching the nose at all um, like with Goito the 93 is my most used board but I also use the 85 quite a lot even on 4.8 sometimes I use the 85 if I'm sailing in small waves for jumping and doing that kind of stuff as well okay so in our skate lineup we also have a BGS Biax glass version so we're going to have a look at that board next Okay, so the bikes glass version skate is a little bit more orientated towards um, kind of like intro to freestyle moves that make that like initial process of learning a little bit easier. Um, Sebastian, can you tell me how what's different on this shape? Well, what happened is like we talked about it before is that the freestyle change. This is actually a shape we developed a couple years back with Golito. Still a little bit longer and it's easier to get into freestyle with a board like that. Additionally to that, like you mentioned it, we offer it in a different construction, so it's a little bit uh, better on price. We offer it in two sizes. I spend a lot of time teaching freestyle to people as well, and the longer nose really helps with like, they want the nose to catch, so you've got like a point to pivot and balance on. So that's the reason that we've got the longer, longer outline on these boards. Actually, in terms of bottom shape and rocker line, it's very similar to the one that we have talked about before, because we still want to get going quickly and be fast. So. Um, one of the earlier shapes, still valid, and uh, good to hear that you use that to bring people into the sport. Nice. Yeah, the perfect tool for it.